Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solution of uh, third problem from exercise 13.1 from NCRT from surface areas and volumes class 10. A toy is in the form of a cone of radius 3.5 cm mounted on a hemisphere of same radius. The total height of the toy is 15.5 cm. Find the total surface area of the toy. So here the toy is in the form of cone as well as hemisphere. The cone is mounted on the hemisphere. This is hemisphere. So here we have to find the total surface area of the toy. We have to find the total surface area of this toy. And here given values are total height of this toy that is 15.5 centimeters and radius of the hemisphere as well as cone is 3.5 centimeters. Write the given values here. And the total surface area of the toy is equal to curved surface area of the cone plus curved surface area of the hemisphere. That is equal to the formula for curved surface area of the cone is equal to 2 pi r square plus for hemisphere it is pi r l. So here pi r is common. So take out that into 2 r here plus l. So we know pi and r values. We have to find l. l is equal to uh, the slant height of the cone. So you have to find the slant height of the cone here. So you know the total height 15.5 and the hemisphere height is also nothing but the radius of the hemisphere that is 3.5 centimeters. So cone height you will get uh, if you subtract 3.5 from 15.5 then you will get the height of the cone and then you can find the slant height of the cone. Now to find the slant height uh, of this cone you know the h value this is height of the cone that is 15.5 minus 3.5 that is 12 centimeters and radius is 3.5 centimeters and here you can see a right triangle here this is 90 degrees so as per Pythagoras theorem l square is equal to h square plus r square therefore l is equal to square root of r square plus h square that is equal to 3.5 square plus h is 12 square that is equal to 3.5 square is 12.25 plus 144. That is equal to square root of 156.25. So we can find the square root of any two, uh, any decimal number by using long division method like this. So first write the number here and put uh, bars on every two digits after decimal and before decimal like this. And then there is only one digit left that is one. So assume any number here and write the same number here. And if you multiply these two numbers that should be less than or equal to this number. So one is that number. So one, one side one. Now subtract this uh, one from this one that is zero. Then bring down the other two digits. Those are five and six, 56. Now double this number that is one into two, two. So write that number here and assume any number here and write the same number here and if you multiply with that number with the whole number for example if you assume 2 and here also 2 2 into 22 is 44 that number should be less than or equal to this number if you assume 3 then 3 3 into 23 is um, 69 so that is greater than 56 so you have to assume 2 here and write the same number here so 2 into 22 is 44 so 56 minus 44 is 12. Now bring down the other two digits. Those are 2 and 5. And again double the last digit out of these two digits. So here 2 into 2 is 4. Now write the two number here. 2 is write the same number here. And 2 into 2 is 4. Now uh, write any number here. And uh, the same number if you write here, then multiply with that number with this whole number, you should get that should be less than or equal to this number. So here decimal is there. So you have to put decimal here. So 5 is that number. If you multiply 5 with 245, you will get 1225. So if you subtract this number, then you will get 0. See again here, here you have to bring down the same digit, first digit like this. And you have to double the last digit only here. So 2 into 2, 4. Now assume any number as the last digit. So you have to do the long division method like this. Uh, now you will get uh, square root of 156.25 is 12.5. So 12.5 centimeters is the slant height of the cone. So from 1, this is the total surface area of the toy that is pi r into 2 r pi r into 2 r plus l. So that is equal to pi into 
R is 3.5 into 2 into 3.5 plus 12.5, at least 12.5. So now you will get 5 into 3.5 into this is 19.5 right here. So 7 ones are 7, 0 0.5s are 3.5. So 22 into 0 0.5 into 19.5 is 214.5 centimeters square. This is the total surface area of the toy. Now, please practice these questions, similar questions. First, find the total surface area of this wooden toys and then find the cost. Here the cost of painting of the toy at the rate of 5 rupees per 100 square, centimeter square. So first find the uh, total surface area of these toys. Uh, 